Hey everyone, in this video we're going to show you exactly how our content filtering works and why it's the secret sauce behind our software. Our number one job is to protect your kids from anything harmful out there, which is why we built this awesome content filtering system. Before we jump into the settings, let's take a minute to explain the magic behind it. I've got two phones here, an iPhone and a Trumi phone. I'm going to read a quote from a show, and if you know what it is, drop it in the comments. Oh look, it's my son, the Vandal. Let's hope my foot doesn't vandalize your Here's the cool part. When our content filtering is turned on, anytime a message is sent to or from a Trumi phone, the content will go through our AI content filtering right on the device before it's sent or received. Our AI looks at the message, checks it against your settings, and if anything needs attention, it gets blurred and you as the parent will be notified depending on your settings and will have the ability to review the flagged content with perfect context. Let's check out the Trumi phone. You can see the word is blurred, but you still get the overall message. This way you keep the context of that conversation. And yep, there's also a blurred image here as well. Now let's head to the parent portal and see what settings you can play with and how to deal with anything that gets flagged. To get to content filtering, hover over the phone settings, then click on content filtering. By default, it's turned off when turning it on, a pop-up will appear to get your approval to analyze content coming in or out of your child's phone. Next is the blur flagged content switch. When it's on, anything the filter catches gets blurred. That's why the word and the image were blurred in the previous example. You can turn this off as your kids get older. If something questionable is sent, it won't be blurred, but it will be flagged for you to check. You can also choose how often you get notifications about flagged content. There are five choices to choose from, as soon as possible, daily, weekly, monthly, or never. Pick the one that best fits your preferences. Want to add specific words to flag? Click Manage List. You'll see a pop-up where you can add words you want the system to flag every time. Maybe your family is cool with but not butthead. Just type the word in the box and click add. It'll be set to always flagged by default. Just click the always allow column to change it. Super important here. The spelling has to be exact, including any variations of the word that you want to have flagged. Once you're done, hit the X in the top right hand corner to go back. We also have content filtering sliders for profanity, suggestive, violence and gore, and drug and alcohol. They're set to sliders. On the left is the highest protection possible and on the right is the least protection possible. So what happens when something gets flagged? Let's go to the text messaging dashboard to take a look. You'll see anything in red is flagged and there have been two items in the last seven days that need reviewing. Click the flagged content box to isolate which messages need to be reviewed. You'll also notice in the most frequent sender section how many flagged messages versus total messages a person has sent. In the message time section, you'll see what time of day the messages were sent that have been flagged. For images, just click the flagged image and it'll take you to the exact moment the conversation of the flagged content. We do this because we want to provide you the full context of the conversation, not just the potentially problematic image, because context is key. When reviewing flagged content, you'll see the actual image, but your child only saw the blurred version because of the blurred flagged content setting turned on. It'll tell you why it was flagged, like in this case, suggestive and bikini. Then you can choose to flag images like this less often, more often, or this image was flagged correctly. This helps the filter learn what's right for your child. So what if your kids send something that gets flagged? On their end, it'll look totally normal, but the person getting the message will see it blurred. We do this so your kid doesn't think the phone is broken and decide they need an iPhone instead. And lastly, if a teen tries to send something really inappropriate, that gets flagged as erotica. You'll get an extra warning before you view it. We want to protect everyone involved. We know we went through a lot today. So just remember, content filtering is there to help keep your kids safe and you're in control of the settings. If you ever need help, be sure to reach out to support.